or how in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is my fall tree. Uh, my fall tree is about five foot tall. <laughs> and the first time I created it was last year uh, for fall. And it was kind of uh, in a last minute, it was a last minute decision last year. But I was really happy with how it turned out. But this year, my color palette has changed. So I'm having to regroup and turn my brain on again and get these juices flowing, these creative juices flowing. For those of you who saw my uh, video little haul the other day, you all saw that I got this bucket. <clears throat> Pardon me. You can hear the saw running. That's Chris down in the basement making me something that I can put the stand the tree up on inside of this bucket. So we'll see what he comes up with. First thing I want to do is kind of take my camera down and I'm going to go across my, actually I could just turn it around and show you. Here you can see my whole island is covered. <laughs> it's just covered in stuff. So this is the, I had this swag across the top of it and the swag itself is okay and I think I can add to it, uh, but the bow is needs to be changed out. I need to pull in my uh, blue and white decor. Chris just came and got the bucket. <laughs> and I have, this ribbon was in this bow. And as you can see, I kind of just, pulled that ribbon out of the bow. So I'm gonna incorporate this ribbon in with those three other three ribbons there, as you can see. This same ribbon from perpetualribbons.com with the, the navy blue with the foily leaves on it. And then the same foil. This is the, th this is the same combination I used in my funky bow swag on my cozy corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those three again and I'm gonna add this to the mix. So we're gonna have a 12 loop funky bow tutorial in this one. And then I'm going to add some blue elements to this swag, take this bow off, add some blue elements to this swag and make it into a funky bow swag to go on the top of this underneath this sign. Now, the way Chris rigged this up for me was, go ahead. <laughs> what do you need? You need the tree? Chris came and took the tree because <laughs> he's working with it. But this is going to be my tree topper, this sign. And as you all saw me do the other day, I just took a blue Sharpie and I colored in the H, the M, and the E. Those were gray and I colored them blue just with a blue Sharpie. So Chris took a dowel and just simply like made a notch in it. He took a little saw or a little razor and actually it was not little, <laughs> but he made like a slit in the top of the dowel and that thing just slid right down on there and that's gonna sit just fine. And I'm gonna tie this whole dowel onto the stalk of the tree. And this is gonna become my tree topper, okay? So, other things that I need to do, these are some of the elements that I took off of the tree and that I will not be using in this tree. So I'm gonna go put these away. And what I'm gonna use for a garland around this tree is I have these pitberry garlands, two of them. And I have these, this pitberry garland, it gets stuck to everything, y'all. I'm telling you, it drives me nuts. And then I have two of these navy blue uh, garlands. Now I need to set my mouth right in order to wrap these two up with one another and then I'm going to wrap them with white lights. So that's going to take me a little while so I'm going to get that done. I'm going to do both of them. One garland will probably go around the tree and the other one it will probably go around the tree about three times and the other one will finish the tree 
and then down into this bucket. And then I'm going to make a little arrangement in the bucket underneath the tree, probably using this little fella down sitting on the edge of the bucket or something. But check out this ribbon. Could that have matched any better? I don't think so. So I think it's going to look really cute when all was said and done. This was the tree topper. This is not the same feel I'm going for this year. Also, I wanted to show you this. Hang on. This is a beautiful fabric garland that Rich made for me last year and sent me. Bless his heart. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to use this on this tree. I thought I would, but there's not enough blue in it to to work, so I think it's beautiful and I love it, uh, but I'm just not gonna use it on this tree. So, but isn't that pretty? He does fabulous work, fabulous work. And I do believe he ships to the US ladies. If you wanna get in touch with him, I'll put a link in the description for his Instagram and that's how you can get in touch with him, okay? All right, so I'm probably gonna put this into fast motion and let it play while I pull around with this garland, which is going to be a test of my patience. I just know it. Uh, and I will be back. you guys this will go right up in the bottom of the tree hot what did you do oh I can't lift it out I think it's in there permanent so it'll just slide right down over that and that is my new base to my fall tree check it out you guys oh my goodness is he awesome or is he awesome wow perfect I'm just gonna put the tree in it Oh my goodness, show, see the bottom of the tree? It's got a hole in the bottom of the tree. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and boom, look at that. And that gives me all this space to decorate underneath. Woohoo! I love it. That's perfect. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> That's perfect. Could not be any more perfect. That's exactly what I need. Thank you so much, honey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm gonna turn this off because I'm gonna enlist his help while he's here to finish this garland up because it's given me a pain in my rear. So I'll be back in just a second. Chris helped me finish putting the lights on and he helped me with the pit. But Chris helped me put the blue garland on and I'll tell you the truth, he thought of this too. All we did was use like the pit berry just to hold it into place. We separated the pit berry. As you saw, I had the pit berry separated out. We just pulled them together and kind of wrapped them over and pushed them down, and it's holding the blue garland in place beautifully. I don't foresee myself taking this apart anytime soon, so that's gonna work beautifully. Now, Chris is here. He's gonna help me wrap this around this tree, and I'll come back, because I can't handle this myself, you guys. So he's gonna help me wrap it. And then I'll be back to show you that, and we're gonna do a bow tutorial, and we're gonna put whatever accent pieces I have on this little tree on the tree. So I'll be back in a second once we get the garland wrapped on the tree. I'm back. Oh my goodness, I have been working like a little fiend over here. I am telling you one thing, running up and down the steps, <laughs> as fast as I run, it's not like I run up and down the steps, but I've gone, gone up and down the steps a couple of times, and I, uh, but here, let me show you real quick. And I'll, of course, take you and give you a closer view too when we get over there. But there is the tree. I needed to, uh, <clears throat> the lights that came on the tree were burned out. And uh, we just couldn't find where they were broken. So I ended up adding another set of brown corded 35 lights. 
uh, but I'll take you closer and you can see the, uh, you know, so you can see the garland up close. Now, I've got my ribbon cut here and I'm getting ready to make a 12 loop funky bow. And I will do a tutorial on this one and, or at least I'll get us started. I don't want to take a long, long time doing and this. And then we are going to uh, add to this swag, take this other bow off and add to this swag and add some blue elements and some other elements and we're gonna, you know, bump this puppy up another notch, I think. So, uh, let me put my camera down here and you'll see what I've collected. Look at this. <laughs> some of this was on last year's tree. Most of this was on last year's tree. That bundle over there that's what I got the other day and I hauled the other day uh, for around the bottom of the tree, I thought. Some of this might go in the bottom of the tree too, though. I had these last year. I never even took the price tag off of them. And as you remember, I have uh, pumpkins like this up on the ivy table, which this is going to sit right next to. So these will go on. I've got three different colors. I've got the kind of the orange color and then the dark or bronze color and then a cream. How perfect could these be, you know? So these all will go on the little tree. And then I just kind of grabbed up some, uh, some of the ornaments that I had from last year. And they're all like wound up here. I've got a couple of little gold leaves and then some orange leaves. And then I have like a grateful pumpkin. I'm trying to keep within the orange, blue, and cream hues here, you know, when making my choices. So all of this stuff will get incorporated. I did, this is the scarecrow I bought the other day. He'll sit on the bottom probably. And then I brought, I bought this one up from my coffers and I think I'm gonna sit her in the tree, like attach her in, in the tree like I do my snowman. For those of you who've been with me at Christmas, I'm gonna snug her into the tree and, and attach her with a, you know, probably with a tie wrap or, some, or something. So, all right, let's get to making this bow. Let me put my, so all of this stuff, uh, hardly any of it I purchased this year. I mean, the blue I've been, you know, I've had. These, these, this is the ribbon that came out of the bow that was on the tree last year. And I'm gonna go ahead and reuse this. I must have really been running out of this ribbon and decided I wanted to use it because I only had two strips at 24 inches and I had one at 18 inches. So I, and then I had made this little bow. <laughs> so I don't know what I was doing last year, but this is what I'm going to use for this bow. I have three strips of each ribbon cut at 24 inches long. Let me reiterate one more time, with the funky bow, you don't have to worry about the length of your strips. What you have to worry about is the size of the loop that you make the bow with. In this case, I'm going to make it about five and a half inches. So I go to my measuring stick, I just fold that right in half, pinch it together at five and a half inches, and then I'm gonna to go to the back tail and I'm gonna twist it around to bring the right side forward. Okay, so there's our first loop in our 12 loop funky bow. Let me put you up a little bit, sorry about that. All right, next we're gonna go through the pattern with the loops turned the same direction the first time through the pattern. Then the second time through the pattern, we're gonna flip the loop five and a half inches. See, this time we're putting the loops up from center. Picture my thumb as the center of the bow. The first time through the pattern, all the loops are gonna be facing up. The second time through the pattern, they're gonna be facing down. The next, and the third time through the pattern, they're gonna be facing up. And I like to do it this way just because it mixes the, the ribbons up a good bit and it helps me when I go to fluff out this bow that I'm not having to yank and pull, you know, loops too, too much. So here we go with the third one, five and a half inches. Again, point that loop up from center. That back tail and twist it around. And then let's pick up this poor decrepit stuff. And I'm still gonna make that loop five and a half inches. The tails might not be as long on this particular piece, but that's okay. It really doesn't matter. If anything, it'll, they'll stick up 
like in the center of the bow or something, it's fine to have the tail shorter, just so the loop is the same size and twist that back tail around. Okay, there's our first four loops in our 12 loop funky bow. Okay, next time through the pattern, let's start through it again. Again, fold it in half, go to five and a half inches and twist that loop down from center, center being my thumb. If I didn't say I have enough strips, I have 12 strips, or with all this combined, it's 12 strips. Each strip obviously equals one loop in the 12 loop funky bow. I'm gonna turn this loop down from center. And I'm adding them in, adding the loops in, or the pieces of ribbon in side by side by side. I'm not piling them on top or behind. I'm trying to accordion them in side by side by side. And I'm allowing the ribbon to kind of slip into the crook of my finger as we go. Next one, down from center. Notice I pull that loop kind of toward the front of the bow. Just, that's just so I know where they all are. Okay, now here, you see how this, how the scarecrows are standing up for themselves there. When I flip the ribbon around like I need to do to put the loop in down from center, the scarecrows are gonna be upside down, aren't they? But if you flip it around, look, they're standing up again. <laughs> I like to add it in when they're standing up, even though when I fluff it, some of them are gonna be upside down, but some of them are gonna be standing up straight. See that? Little trick for you. <laughs> That's called Arlen is picky. In every aspect of her decorating, she is very picky. Okay, here we go. The last time through the pattern, I'm gonna turn that loop and go up from center again, all the way through. Okay, go to that back tail and twist. All right, we're done with that. Let's get the pipe cleaner. We're gonna lay it across. We're gonna try to find the middle of it. Lay it across the thumb, pick the thumb up, pull the bottom around the bottom, and the top around the top. Boy, are we crooked or are we crooked? My goodness, sorry about that. We're gonna use the hand that we're holding the ribbons shut with as resistance. We're gonna get the fingers of their dominant hand or the hand that you've been manipulating the ribbons with up as close as you can, and then I kind of twist my fingers around and, and pinch and twist. And I twist both the pipe cleaner and the bow. And I twist it a good many times just to make sure that it is good and secure because you need it to be nice and tight because the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna fluff your bow. And as I always like to say, the most important part of any bow, not just a funky bow, but any bow is the fluffing. So I will probably put myself into fast motion here as I do a little fluffing and a little you know, separating up the tails. Yes. Okie dokie. Here you can, you can kind of get the gist of it now. Uh, nice big 12 loop funky bow. Okay, now let me bring this swag over here. And first thing I want to do is take this bow off of it, a bigger bow than that bow, to go right in the center of this. But I want to add a few blue elements into this mix here. So, and I may like to want to add a few, couple more of these into it as well. I'm gonna put, I don't want these on there. Me being picky again. Instead, I think I would like to add a couple of these to the mix. But out further, see that? And I want to add some blue. Touch of 
these blue. I don't like this. these cream pip berries that I got from AC Moore that I want to add to. You know what, y'all? This is when it becomes hard to reuse, you know, my decor. This is not an easy task here, kind of recreating the wheel with the same accent pieces, you know. There we go. Make them really close together. Even though it's a big bow, I still would rather have it look more full and pulling it closer like that. See, I've learned something through the last year of just doing. I like it to be closer and have the decor kind of billow out from underneath the bow. So yes, I have learned something through the year, just by doing. That's, I know, I didn't learn that from anybody, but just by doing, you know, and by tweaking my own stuff and making it prettier to my eye. But I'm not gonna use the pipe cleaner. I'm going to use a tie wrap because they just go, they just get much, much tighter and it holds it, secures it much, 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 much better. So I just snug the pipe cleaner underneath the, or snug the tie wrap underneath the pipe cleaner that I used to shut the bow with. And then I'm gonna tie it on. And pull it down really tight. pretty good. So now I'm going to go and put it on the tree and then I'm going to do some fluffing with it when it's on the tree. I think I may, I may be able to get it. I need to get my a big tripod out so that you guys can watch me work and then I'm going to just start adding this stuff and we're going to see what we come up with. You know, we'll see. All right, I'll be back. Before I come back, I wanted to show you I'm putting a couple of tie wraps underneath, see the stalk? That's the back stalk, and I'm putting behind that, and this is what I'm going to use to tie it on the tree trunk. I'm gonna use two of them, all right? I don't think I can get you behind the tree, so I'm just going to see if I can get this on this tree. So I will do my best here, and we'll see how far I get. go with a little little scarecrow this I'm not sure about this yet I'm not sure if I'm done <laughs> messing with that yet we'll see I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute and grow on me we'll see where I go with that but for now I'm gonna start decorating the rest of the tree and I'm gonna put the starting out with this little scarecrow here I just want her snugged up into the tree and I'm putting uh, the tie, I'm doing it with a tie wrap and I'm tying the tie wrap underneath her arms there. I had to put two tie wraps together. Excuse my arms, sorry. Oof. I'm just pulling her kind of tight in there and I'll fix her little big belly. She looks like me with a big belly. Super cute so far. This is proving to be quite the job for me, you guys, I'm telling you. Crafting sometimes is not easy, <laughs> and this has not been. This has not been easy. It's been a job. It was a job to get the, the garland on, 
it was a job to work with this uh, kind of correcting myself from last year and reusing the stuff and I may still add some stuff to that so I'll tell you what I'm probably going to just work on putting these ornaments on and then uh, I'll come back when I'm ready to to work around the bottom I may let this play a little bit and so y'all can watch but it's just this is going to be a hugely long video if I don't kind of speed it up Okay, so I'm gonna, and I know I've sped through parts already, but you know, I don't want this to be a 500 hour long video. So here we go, into fast motion. I'm gonna start with these and I can't get hooks in them, you guys. So I may just have to, the little, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to use these to be honest, they might sit, yeah, they'll sit there if I just stick one of the branches in. Oh my goodness. guys I'm back oh my goodness what a day this has been I have been working on this thing all afternoon and I'm loving how it is working out but it has been a ton of work I am telling you you guys if you are going to go and do a tree like this just be prepared <laughs> it is it is a bear. These things are a bear. I, I, you know, it may just be me. It may just be me that I'm just dealing with this thing. It is just, but it, it may just be that I'm just not as patient as I normally am. But I'm just like, come on, and I'm finally happy with it. But it has taken, it's taken me all afternoon. So anyway, I'm sitting down on the floor, as you can see. Excuse any dust bunnies, dog bunnies, whatever, hopping around behind me here because my house is probably not as clean as it could be, and wires, the wires, were, I saw that in another video. I'm sorry about that, but that chair needs to be tilted anyway. I haven't figured out how to get rid of those wires. Regardless, I'm sitting down here on the floor, and I am going to go ahead and do a little bit of decor around the bottom of this tree. And let me drop you down and show you what I'm talking about here. And as you can see, the, this is part of the garland that came down and around. This is coming off the tree and down and around. And then it plugs in behind it here. So I just want to make a little bed of something to go kind of on the bottom and kind of tilt over the front of it here. You know, and so a little bed for my little scarecrow to sit in. So I just took these leaves. This is what I've got from... Where'd I get this, you guys? Hobby Lobby or, and that, a Hobby Lobby the other day. Hobby Lobby the other day. And I just have tied these together with a tie rub, just these long stems. And I've got a bunch sitting here that I am definitely going to incorporate into this. But I just wanna get this around the tree kind of here. This stuff, I'm telling you, it comes off like crazy. And I kind of want it to tilt down like this. I don't want to, I just want to touch like this. And I want my little scarecrow, I thought he could sit kind of right there. And you can still see the garland back here, but just a little something to add down here. I was going to put this towel, but I don't think I will. I'm just gonna kinda hang it from the side, but I don't think I can get it. Chris made this really tight, and I don't think I can, well, it may hang there, hang on. Let me just lay underneath this tough. Wait, let me fold the towel better. This is not going to be perfect, Joe. But I also thought I would put some elements of what is up in the tree down in here. I have a bow. Similar, I ran out of my uh, shiny. Ribbon, so I just made this is like a six loop funky. bow. I 
I'll tell you what, we're going to take this downstairs as is, and we'll cover it up with a big, uh, <laughs> with a big garbage bag or something. I am not taking this thing back apart. No way, Jose. And this is probably what you'll see next year for my fall tree. <laughs> if I come back and watch this video next year, <laughs> I'll go, oh yeah, I remember doing that. No, I don't want to redo that again. I usually love this stuff, you guys. I usually love it and thrive on the, you know, on the, on the creative process. But this time I'm ready to pick this thing up and throw it out the door. I'm telling you, it's driving me nuts. You know, I gotta be honest, right? I'm always real with y'all. And this thing is just being a pain in my rear. Probably because I'm way too picky, but you know what? I like being picky. I like, I like the way, because I'm picky, I like the way things work out. You know, even though it's just making me wanna say a couple words I never say, you know? And I haven't, thankfully. <laughs> but not even to myself. So, but boy, I've been tempted. <laughs> All right, something like that. One tail is wanting to give me troubles. have just some elements of what's up in the tree you know like this cream and these kind of flouncy things I've got some of these up in the up in the spray and then this think that will do it y'all I like it and I do have these I bought AC more out of these things that's where I got these I'm telling y'all, I bought them out. And I've used every one. This is the last of them. I don't know whether they're gonna restock or not. <laughs> Cute. I do have some blue here have a lot of blue elements down here. Let me see if I can add a little blue. I see I'm enjoying this. This is fun. That tree up there. Oh, yeah. Now that I'm about done with it, I'm, I'm liking it more and more, <laughs> you know? Okay. 
Hello. I'm liking it. Did I put any orange? I don't think I put any of these kind of pumpkins up in there. I don't want to use this. Alrighty, you guys. I think that's about it. <laughs> I love it. Shoo, though. What a job. Oh, I brought these these things. Oh, my goodness. Thankfully, they... The, um... Would you like to hold it? I, there's nowhere to put this. It'll just fall. So I'm not going to worry about it. All right, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> I can't do any more. <laughs> so let's do some final words, y'all. <laughs> it is pretty, though. It is pretty. Now that it's done. <laughs> I have no idea how long this video is. I hope I've been able to speed through some of the really boring parts when I was struggling. Alrighty. Okay, that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, you guys. Here I am, no lipstick, I'm a mess. I'm a mess because I've been working so hard. I'm telling you, this jacket's been on and off and on and off. Woo, it's been, it's been a little job here. Absolutely a little job. But when all is said and done, I'm very happy with it. Whew. I was wondering there for a while. I'm telling you, I was really wondering there for a while if I was gonna get it get it to come together <laughs> but I'm super happy with it so I will take the camera down and I will take a video from top to bottom for you guys and take some still pictures and put that at the end thank you all for hanging in here with me I appreciate your company <laughs> and uh, your patience with me oh my goodness so uh, let me just say that I hope that all is well with everyone and I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.